Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is variant four. We're in chapter two, and we're on quest two, the last quest of the chapter. And I'm gonna show you the path that I feel is the easiest for your initial clear. Now, something I realized, if you watched my previous videos, I hadn't mentioned, but I'm pretty sure uh, by this time, you already know, but each of the chapters and quests have a tier gate. So the first quest, you could use five and six stars. Second quest, you could use five stars, then four stars. And right now we have to use three stars. Fortunately, I have a ghost as a three star as well. So my teams are pretty much the same up until this point. Now you saw the path, you saw the nodes, uh, basically with the aggression fury and the enhanced fury, you just want to be aggressive. Okay. If you're not aggressive, they're going to start building up furies and with the enhanced fury as well, it's going to be even more potent. So if you are timid and you're playing a little too passively, they can one shot you. I mean, one hit take you out. All right, so this first fight is against Man-Thing. He's not difficult. You might wanna go in with a poison immune champion, uh, but Ghost, she phases. Now, you see that armor break right there? That makes it a little bit trickier. She cannot phase while she has an armor break on her. All right, and you can see that she's taking quite a bit of damage. I was able to take him down, but she wasn't necessarily the best option for that fight, but she could do it. Next up, we've got Gladiator Hulk. And as long as you know how to fight Gladiator Hulk, not a problem. Now, I went back in here with Ghost. I didn't heal her up because if you play correctly with Ghost, you shouldn't need to worry about any damage at all. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here. You'll notice that I haven't taken any damage, not even block damage. Okay, now, right there I took a little bit of damage. I think I missed time the uh, phase. So I took the recoil damage from the suicides that I was running. But normally, would not take any damage at all. Now we gotta fight Hyperion. I do not like fighting Hyperion. Sometimes he wants to throw his specials, sometimes he doesn't. And when he doesn't, you're gonna end up eating a special three. But I have Hood, so that synergy allows me to take no damage while phased. So as long as I can phase before he fires off a special three, I'm good. But you'll notice that I was hitting him with one hit, one hit, trying to build up to a special two before he got to a special three. Well, we didn't have to worry about the special three because he fired off his special two. Very nice of him to uh, play along. All right, and down he went. Didn't have to worry about tanking that special three, uh, which we could have done, but it's always nice not to have to do that. Now this fight, I do not like fighting Nick Fury. He is a royal pain to deal with, okay? Um, you're gonna have to kill him pretty much twice. You'll notice I did not go in there with Ghost because he has this mechanic where he can hit her even while she's phased. But of course, since I have Hood, I'm not gonna take the damage, but it's still pretty dangerous, okay? so. What I'm trying to do here is just get him, get the real Nick Fury out. All right, so if you don't know anything about Nick Fury, this first Nick Fury that I'm fighting here is not a Nick Fury. It's a life decoy, life model decoy, something like that. You see how I just got took out. I do not like fighting Nick Fury, all right? Um, but I was able to whittle him down a little bit and that pretty much was what I was going for. I was trying to get the real Nick Fury out, but 
as much damage as I can do, the better. Okay, so now we got Wasp and she's gonna do a lot of damage pretty quickly. As you see here, uh, I wanted that special one, you see the evade failed, but I wanted that special one to happen before his unblockable, which you see right there. See, now when he fires that special one off, it's no longer unblockable. But if he fires that special one when it's unblockable, I don't, I can't evade it. I don't know anybody um, that can. But down she goes, and we still haven't taken this Nick Fury down. All right, so <clears throat> here we go again. Trying one more time, one more again. And you see, I'm keeping my ghost in reserve. Okay, so after all of this, he's got 3% health, right? 2%, 1%. And now the life model decoy is done and we're facing the real Nick Fury. Now I can dance around like you see here. He's going to degen all the way down to 30% health and then I can attack him. So that's what I'm doing. I've lost enough champions so now he's at 30%. So now I just need to go ahead and take it to him. So I'm just waiting, trying to get my in. Got the invisibility, boom. He missed and I went in there, okay? And I wanna push him to his special two. See, he's unblockable here, but his special two is so much easier to evade. See that? So you want him to be at his special two or push him to it when he goes unblockable. But we finally got him down. He wrecked my crew. But we got him down and we got rewarded with an ambush. Now, at this point in time, I'm like, are you kidding me? After all of that, I get ambushed. So I bring Ghost out and just like before, you don't have to deal with any of those special nodes. So it's just a regular fight. And you can see I'm just ghosting it up here. All right, I'm actually healing just a little bit, uh, but not much. All right, that time I got the uh, timing properly. All right, pushed him to a special three phase. He didn't want to fire it again, phased again. And now he fired off his special three. And I was looking at it and I was like, Please do not tell me that he attacked and waited for the phase to end, but he didn't. I was still phased and so took no damage thanks to the hood synergy. And boom, took him out. All right, so just a little bump in the road and we continue with our journey. So now we get to fight Hulkbuster. He is the last before we have to face the final boss. So, Hulkbuster, not very difficult at all. Nothing special. Uh, I cannot evade his special two. I know people who can. Um, OG Daredevil can, but I cannot. So what I try to do is I always try to bait out his special one. That power drain was a little annoying, and so I'm gonna fire off that special two immediately because once I saw the power drain, I was like, oh no, taking too long. All right, and down he goes. Um, I messed up a little bit on the timing, took a little damage, but we're still in good shape. Like I said, even ghost with like 5%, if you do it right, you can uh, finish a fight without any problem, but you have to play her correctly. All right, so now we've got the final boss here. And you can see all of his abilities are active. You've got that clap back, so you don't want to place any debuffs. You've got Aggression Fury. You've got Mixed Master. I mean, this is just a cornucopia of buffs. So I'm going to use Ghost. She's going to be able to cut through all of those nodes, right? But before I do, I want to whittle him down a little bit. Any damage that I can do is going to be helpful. It's less 
damage that I have to um, take off of him with Ghost. And the less means the faster the fight, the faster the fight means the less chance I may make a mistake and get wrecked. Okay, so as much damage as we can do, that's how much we want to do. Now, Hood, people sleep on Hood, but he's actually a pretty decent uh, character. All right, so you see here, I'm just going for the damage. I know that I uh, am running suicide, so I'm taking damage. If you saw that pause, that was actually the game. That was not uh, the video, all right? Uh, and then I messed up there, and that was all she wrote. It only takes one mistake in this fight, and it's over with. Um, I got kind of thrown off. I was getting a lot of game lag, as you saw, uh, and it threw my timing off, and I'm just like, what, what's going on? And I'm like tapping it, tapping it. But we took off quite a bit of damage, okay? And so now, I was thinking, I was thinking of going in with Ant-Man and taking down some more damage but I got impatient and I'm like you know what this is just ridiculous let's just go ahead and do it now you see how quick he reacted there uh, almost caught me uh, that could have easily been the end of this because he would have gotten me in a stun loop and the fight would have been over but we recovered and from this point on we can just ghost it up we're just waiting for him in boom wham that special two so devastating and he's down to 24% health. So now we're just going again. Try and build up some more. Just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. We don't have to worry about much of anything else. At this point, I probably could have fired off a special one to finish him. But we didn't need to. Didn't need to fire off anything. So that is the end of that chapter. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys out when you do your run. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.